Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Doros, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Six of Wands and the Strength card. Energies for your person, the Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Between you and your person, we have the Tower. Meeting energies, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. The Oracle cards, Go the Distance and Deep Knowing. Guys, I think that some of you have been seeing a person of interest lately. The connection was kind of fun. The two of you got along extremely well. You liked each other. Queen of Wands, Four of Swords. For some of you, something more happened. I would say for a reciprocal satisfaction, but then there was another mechanism that started to unfold. And this mechanism can bring some of you guys to a realization, haha moment, the tower energy that stands between you and your person of interest. And the realization is about the fact that this connection, as tempting and passionate and fun as it can be, may not necessarily represent for you the opportunity to build for the future Knight of Pentacles. So if you realize that there is no real victory available for you moving forward because this person maybe is stuck in their ways, Eight of Swords, and they can ask you guys to kind of go with the flow, there can be the opportunity for the connection to end because the time for this person can be up sooner rather than later. And this strength card can be a matter of trust and patience because let's say that some of you may not entirely trust the connection anymore and patience can run out because there can be almost an evaluation about the opportunity to invest time and energies into a cycle, a situation that may not have what it takes to last. So go the distance can be a goal. Deep knowing can be a gut feeling, let's say, your intuition which can even be manifested or listened to thanks to the Four of Swords. And then the tower can be basically the rite of passage that sets you guys free from this connection. Your person doesn't see that coming. They can truly be like the lady in the Eight of Swords, blindfolded or willfully blind. Let's pull more cards. Let's see what we can get. The tower in this case can be an unexpected change of mind. Nine of pentacles for the six of wands. Single moving forward, some of you guys. The devil for the strength card. The strength card is one of the best possible energies to handle the devil. So this is positive, but the connection has something that doesn't work. Strength card for the eight of swords. Hermit for the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords for the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress for the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Swords for the Four of Swords, quite a contrast. So guys, this person, your person of interest, can try to hold on to you, strength card. Some of you instead can resist the connection because you do not like it anymore. This person can be slightly older than you, the Hermit, it's another energy about singlehood. So Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. The two of you have been seeing each other, but if we think about commitment, Page of Swords, super casual, super shallow, I want to say, your person. They do not really want to go down that road. The Nine of Swords can be anxiety. The two of you may experience it, but for different reasons. At some point, you may truly realize that you do not like the arrangement because it can be a devilish one. So amazing sex, but then we can lack a lot of factors that are necessary in order for the connection to be successful. The Nine of Swords for your person of interest can be a fear that you can truly pull back from this connection. The Empress, guys, is an energy about a healthy growth, a healthy development for me. I think that it should be like a topic. You have to think about the opportunity to build something with this person in the long run and 
in order to evaluate that chance you have to take away from the system the physical and sexual side of the connection because then you may truly have the chance to realize that the connection is built on shaky grounds and your victory is elsewhere because this person may not be a fair companion for you. This person seems to be destined to be left behind, guys. They can try to resist the tower. I think that they are up for a rude awakening because some of you can go away. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? King of Cups, the Hermit, Six of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you may keep feelings and emotions for the Hermit, let's say, under the surface of the water, because what you can question can be the intentions involved in a connection like this one, super passionate, but also with some issues that some of you in particular are not willing to overlook. Your person instead may ask you guys to keep going with the flow. The Eight of Pentacles is an energy about a laser-focused mentality, determination, dedication, the willingness to put effort in order to achieve important goals. I think that some of you may re-evaluate the opportunity to keep working for this connection to stay alive. And then I want to say that this person can truly be older than you. And for some reason, the factor may become another deal breaker. And maybe there can even be kids involved in the picture if we follow the Six of Cups, which is my favorite card in the deck. All about the purest of arts, yes, I do not feel that this person had malicious intentions, but maybe the connection doesn't really have what it takes to stand, and some of you can get that type of clarity sooner than your person. What's the obstacle? The tower and the devil, mainly. The star, there is no wish. There is no wish for you in this connection. Your person of interest instead can think that you are a star person for them because there is a star within the lantern of the hermit. The tower for me, guys, is the path to the star. But in this case, some of you may have to end this connection in order to move forward and find a better situation. Judgment. Final decision, your person of interest can ask you guys to give them another chance. Not gonna happen, sorry. Seven of Wands, yes indeed. It's a roadblock, guys. Uh, some of you can resist avances if we follow all these ones and the devil in particular. The strength card is going to serve you well. I think that there is going to be a conversation that may disappoint your person of interest, but some of you are going to handle it in a mature way without making a fuss about anything. Look, we tried, it was kind of powerful, but maybe it is not meant to be, this connection. Then we can even say, guys, that if the Seven of Wands is a resistance that your person of interest can try to manifest, maybe they can try to resist the separation. They can try, but it seems that some of you can truly move on from this connection. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. I also want to say that the more you go quiet, guys, in order to evaluate what you want to do, the more your person of interest can get restless because they can freak out. They can start to smell troubles because they can start to think that you can go away. Four of Cups, another energy that is on point in a scenario like this one, the Empress recurrent energy, the Knight of Cups, and the High Priestess. 
cutting communication as soon as a brief conversation takes place between the two of you. The Knight of Cups can be a love offer. You can receive it because this person can say that they love you. It can be the divine offer that we see in the Four of Cups. As a consequence, the Knight of Cups can become the opportunity for you to manifest the Cranberries song promises. She's going to leave him over. She's going to take her love away. You can also be a man. It doesn't matter. We are just talking about energies. You do not like the arrangement, so you can be the figure under the tree in the Four of Cups. I want to say, guys, that maybe you have had some fun with this person. Nothing wrong with that. I think that you may decide to put a closing point on the connection before it becomes something more challenging and more tricky to handle because of the devil. If you do not see potential, let's say, in the long run for this connection, if we follow the Empress, it's going to be almost a natural consequence for you, the opportunity to let this person know that you do not want to keep seeing them and you do not want to keep working in order for this connection to stay alive. And this person will have to accept this type of feedback because it seems that they may not have the tools in order to convince you guys that the connection can be different or successful moving forward. And so go the distance can represent the opportunity for you guys to wave goodbye to this person and then keep looking for the fair companion for you, the one that can truly share with you virtues, values, and aspirations that can be beneficial in order to manifest into reality a romantic connection that can be successful in the long run. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.